good. Look how tough is it to swallow that you knock down two huge shots in the last minute and, and they get the last word? Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's tough, really. We were up uh, three times, one, I think, and we, we just needed one stop, you know. But, you know, when McCollum gets going, Lillard was going, obviously they had a little chip on their shoulder after uh, after we won up there just a couple nights ago, and they came out firing, and they had a tough bunch to guard. If, if both have it going, um, they keep mixing it up. They were both really aggressive to look those, those in-between shots, and... Saying all that, it was a fun game to be yeah. part, part of, you know. Uh, we fought back from being down 16 they had a, in the second quarter there. In the second quarter, they, were, they got incredibly hot. And Lillard made some tough threes and kept battling there in the second half. And you know, it could have gone either way, but, you know, it's just one of those nights. You win some, you lose some. You know, it's, it's one bad bounce. I mean, HB's three, we're up one. It could make it a four-point game. It rolls all the way in and comes out. You know, just uh, just a bounce here and there in, in a one-point game. What are your emotions like when you hit that three with three seconds left? Well, you know, you're hoping that's game, but you know, three seconds, like I said, in, in this league is a, is, a, is a long time. I've obviously seen a lot of stuff happen, uh, and, and McCollum made a heck of a play. We we switched Wes over after he just scored on Yogi and uh, and Devin. and he made a heck of a play there. I think HB was right there too, and he kind of split both. Uh, and, and just made a, a tough little leaner, but you know he's, he's incredible in the mid range, and uh, he made us pay all night. Dirk, talk up. about your second half. You just seem to be vintage Dirk out there, hitting one big shot after another. Yeah, you know, I felt good. I felt good first time really for for back to back. I felt I was moving well. Just first half, I missed a bunch of felt felt like makeable shots. Um, you know, had at least two wide open ones that then I just got to knock down and. and Came out a little early there in the second half. Wanted to get going, wanted to get a little sweat in and, um, and, and get some shots up. I guess that helped. You said despite the loss, it's still a fun game to be a part of. Do you have a different sort of appreciation for those kind of moments and this kind of game, you know, at this stage of your career? Yeah, I mean, I guess, but, you know, when you lose to Denver and, and Portland, both teams that are right there that we just got to beat to get in front of. So, um, you know, the, the, the loss obviously now is tougher um, just because we're, we're right there we're with two teams that are battling for that eight seed with us. So, very, very obviously disappointing loss, but, uh, you know, so it was definitely a fun game. On another personal note, just moving into the top 10 in field goals made in NBA history. How does that feel for you? Yeah, I mean, you know, obviously I made some threes and I made a lot of free throws, so that's why I guess I'm a little further back and, and made, made field goals. But, you know, it just means I've been around for uh, for a long, long time, you know, stayed, stayed injury free and uh, was able to play a lot of basketball. You mentioned McCollum's skill and, you know, the mid range and the ability to create. Do you see that kind of closer mentality in him that you developed? Yeah, I mean, uh, his first year or two, he always came in here and had really good games against us. Even back then, when he was a bench player who, who, who was, you know, barely played here and there. Um, but you could see that he's he's got an unbelievable skill. Um, and uh, back then, he already had that that shot and that, that, that will to win. Uh, you can see that he's uh, he wants the ball so. And he just got better from from year to year, and now they have a, a backcourt. It's uh, it's just incredibly tough to guard. You know they can mix it up, and then even when one guy goes to the bench, they run the offense to the other guy. And, uh, it's uh, it's a uh, they're, they're an incredible duo for sure.